Hi, Dave Kanicki here for Farm Equipment's Editor's Blog for August 21st, 2012. Everybody talks about the weather, but nobody does anything about it. We've all heard that quotation, and I'll talk more about that later. In the meantime, after reading through the special report, How the Weather is Changing Agriculture, that will appear in the September issue of Farm Equipment, I'm not convinced that anyone should do anything about the weather. While there's a lot of ranting about global warming these days, at least one expert says he agrees that it is happening, but it doesn't concern him very much. Dennis Avery, director of the Hudson Institute's Center for Global Food Issues, agrees that the earth has been warming since around 1710. The difference is he doesn't believe it's a bad thing. Since the last ice age, we have experienced seven intense cold periods and seven global warmings, Avery says. And when he lines up those cooling and warming periods with recorded human history, he comes to another very interesting conclusion. Global warmings have been the good times for humans, animals, and vegetables, he says. The little ice ages have been desperately bad. That's when you get shorter, cloudier growing seasons, earlier frost, and violent floods. He adds that Chinese researcher Zibin Zhang has examined the Chinese records for the last 1,000 years and says 80% of wars, rebellions, and collapsed dynasties have occurred during these little ice ages. But speaking of no one doing anything about the weather, that's not exactly true either. Farmers, with the help of equipment manufacturers and crop geneticists, are indeed trying. Also, in our special weather report, which was compiled by Martha Mintz, one of our contributing editors, a survey of farmers who read No-Till Farmer indicates that growers are adapting to changing weather patterns as best they can by looking at new equipment, different inputs, and even growing practices. First, nearly 67% of the 315 farmers who responded to the survey agree that the weather is indeed becoming more volatile and challenging for growers. Another 24% said the planned changes in their weather management strategies have resulted in the purchase of new equipment to cope with changing weather patterns. When asked, in what ways have you changed your farm management strategies to offset variable weather and risk, the top responses included, one, switching to no-till or minimum tillage for moisture conservation, 64%. 40.6% said they're growing biotech crops or hybrids developed to deal with environmental stresses. 39.9% said applying fertilizer in season. In times like this, the weather can be disconcerting enough for farmers that they'll hold off on equipment purchases as well. When asked, has the weather volatility in your area caused you to hold off on an equipment purchase? Nearly 40% of the farmers said yes. Check out the September issue of Farm Equipment for the full report. As an aside, I mentioned the uh, quote at the beginning of the column. Everybody talks about the weather, but nobody does anything about it. <clears throat> I always check out to make sure I'm attributing quotes like this properly. When I checked this one out, I expected to find Mark Twain as the author. But according to my research, the first reference to Mark Twain in this quotation came in 1905. At least, two er at least two earlier references, one in 1884 and another in 1889, show that Charles Dudley Warner, an editor at the Hartford Current, actually coined the phrase, not Mark Twain. Just in case you're interested in these things, you can check it out at QuoteInvestigator.com. Thanks for checking in, and we'll talk to you next time.